my last video, uh, we stepped through installing the Docker engine on the new uh, firmware 12 for Wagos PFC uh, 200 Generation 2 controllers. Um, in that video, we pulled some pre-built images from the Docker Hub, Grafana, InfluxDB, um, that had the tools pre-installed and we could just use them right out of the box. Uh, but one of the real strengths of Docker is the ability to also create your own images and to um, save those and deploy those. So um, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to start with a base image with no real tools installed. We're going to add a mosquito broker and um, we're going to step through the process of saving your own uh, images. Um, the first method of doing this is going to be in the interactive terminal. We're going to shell into uh, the actual running container add the tools and then commit those. Um, the second method of doing this is going to be using what's called a docker file and automating that process. So to follow along you'll just need a, a PFC 200 generation 2 controller uh, running firmware 12 with the docker engine installed. So let's shell in and get started. Okay so we're going to start by shelling in uh, to the uh, as root to the PFC. So here we are um, in the root directory. We can run the, the command uh, docker images to see if there's anything pre-installed. You can see here there's there's nothing on the um, yeah there's nothing in the docker repo so far. So we're going to uh, issue command docker run dash it for interactive terminal. Tie this to our network uh, our host network and we're going to run uh, Alpine. So since this doesn't exist, it's actually going to go through the process of pulling the image and then um, initiating the run. So here we are pulling it, it's extracting it into the Docker uh, repo, and it should return uh, a command line or a, a, a shell um, for the actual running image. So we're inside now the Alpine container. Uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna just install a mosquito broker. So we're gonna do apk add, this is pseudo to, or excuse me, similar to apt-get install um, for other Linux environments. And we're gonna say mosquito and mosquito clients. So this is gonna install the mosquito broker into the Al uh, Alpine environment. Um, that's it, that's all, that's all we need to do. Um, we just wanted to install that one simple service. But now we're in the environment and we need to basically step out of that and then save these changes to a new image. So um, first to step out of it, to detach, we're gonna do control P, control Q. It returns us now to our uh, PFC um, shell. And if I uh, run the command docker ps-a, you'll see I've got my Alpine running now. Uh, let's clear this and um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, um, let's do docker ps-a again so we can have this information here. And we're gonna say docker commit, uh, we're gonna commit this container ID. So the running container we wanna commit now to a, to a file and then we need to tag it with something. So we're gonna call this wago pfc uh, underscore mosquito. So by issuing this command now it's gonna save all the changes we made inside of the container uh, to a new image. It's going to hold um, basically the program that we installed. And um, now we can actually stop this running container because we don't need it anymore. Docker rm f, uh, we'll paste the container ID that we had already copied, and it's going to remove now the running container. So if we do docker ps a, whoops, uh, docker ps a, um, you'll see we have nothing running. And if we do docker images, we have our wago pfc underscore mosquito. So we're going to copy this and now we're going to now we're going to use it. We're going to test it out. So um, docker run dash d. We don't need the interactive terminal anymore. We already installed our service so we don't need to um, to interact with it. So dash d means detached um, network equal to host. Uh, we want to also run this restart always command. So this means it's going to restart itself if for some reason the operating system reboots. Um, we're going to run this wago pfc underscore mosquito and inside of that we're going to issue the command mosquito p 1883. So we're going to run a mosquito broker uh, with port 1883 open. We got confirmation uh, here that it's running. 
And so now we're just going to test it by opening up a couple of um, terminals on the same PFC and running a mosquito uh, subscribe and a mosquito publish command. So if we run mosquito uh, sub dash h is going to be localhost uh, the port 1883 and the topic we're just going to subscribe to topic foo. Um, we're going to open up another terminal and we're going to run the um, publish here. So mosquito pub uh, same localhost dash p 1883 dash t is foo and in this case we're going to send the message uh, hello docker you'll see now we've issued the command or we've issued the, the, the publish we've received it back on the subscribe end so you can see um, that's one method of, of creating this image and, um, and running it this process can all be automated as well. And it all starts with what's called a Docker file. Um, to take a look at the, the mechanics of a doc Docker file, we basically have to specify a base image um, with this from command. We can label it, and then uh, by um, passing a run argument, we can run um, certain commands inside of the uh, process. Um, in this case, we're going to expose port 1883, and we're going to run the Mosquito service um, ultimately. So when this runs, it's going to pre-run this Mosquito broker. So I'm going to copy this text here, and we're going to now shell into the um, PFC. So similar to before, I'm starting with a base um, Docker engine with nothing pre-installed. If I run Docker images, you'll see there's nothing um, in here now. So um, I'm going to make use of this Docker file. So first I'm going to do uh, make directory. I'm going to add a directory called Docker in my root. So I've now got my Docker directory. And I'm going to nano into the Docker directory into and create a file called uh, Docker file. Uh, I'm going to paste my text in here. So this is the text from my um, text file I showed you earlier. Uh, from Alpine, we're going to install Mosquito Broker, we're going to expose the port, etc, etc. Control X to save this, and we're going to save this as Docker file. So now um, we'll clear this to start at the top, and we're going to issue a command that says docker build t. So we need to tag this just like we did in our commit statement. Uh, wago pfc underscore mosquito, uh, PFC, wago pfc underscore mosquito, and we're going to um, we have to point this to the path of our Docker file. So not our file itself, but the, the path. So in this case, Docker forward slash. It's now going to step through the whole process. It's going to pull the Alpine image. It's going to run that image. Inside of that um, container, it's going to run the APK install or the APK add to add the Mosquito broker. It's going to then open the port and run the, run the command. Um, in this case, it's just going to detach and shut it down. Uh, it's simply creating the image, so it's not going to be running in the background. And you can see when it's completed, it returns us now to a to a shell. Uh, so let's clear. Uh, we'll do Docker images, and you can see now we've got our image there. It's Wago PFC underscore Mosquito. It also pulled the base Alpine image. And if I do Docker PS dash A, uh, it's not running. So we we just simply need to run it. Uh, we can run this now the same way we did before, docker run dash d to run it detached, tie it to our same network, um, restart always, <clears throat> um, we're going to run our wago pfc underscore mosquito, and in this case we don't need to um, pass the mosquito command because it's already going to um, do that with our um, the the last command we had on the Docker file. So there we there we go. It's running. If we do Docker um, ps a we can see that it's running. It's been up for a few seconds, and so we can test this again, uh, same way we tested before, by issuing a mosquito sub uh, dash h to localhost port eighteen eighty three, and topic is again foo. So now we're subscribed. Um, we're going to now publish data to the same. It 
and the data is again going to be hello uh, docker file and you can see now we've got the data so we can automate this whole process um, we can make it easy to um, pull you know base images add the services you can get very complex with these um, and it's a really nice way to uh, create extra tools that you can run in your PLC. So um, leave your questions and comments below. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.